debit credit balance the one who works in the accounts or after completing the studies in accounts who works in the account department for them the debit credit balance is a very familiar subject or the ones who deal with bank transactions and maintain the bank statements these words are also very familiar to them as well in today's class we will learn with the help of ms excel that how very easily and simply we are going to maintain this debit credit or the remaining balance in this given format in the second part of the video one of our member has a question that he is unable to tally his own collection balance so after learning this debit credit formula we will have a look on our members questions that he has asked we will look and evaluate the solution of the problem which he has asked on his document with the help of this format so let's go and start today's class The file which is already open in our MS Excel, we have taken a column over there. In the very first, it is SL, which means serial, then item name, then debit. Over here, I have given a plus sign. When we will discuss this debit and credit in detail, sometimes the debit is considered minus, and sometimes the credit is minus. This is all for accounting purpose, which we will understand. So let's see when in our case the debit is a plus. Then we will give plus sign just to understand this. So all these entries here in series are known as debit, which means that your accounts are on the plus side. Then the next row which you can see over here is known as credit. So whatever is in credit will be considered as an expense. There can be multiple expenses like salaries and house rent. So what can be seen in this format? So in one row there will be debit in which we will be mentioning our income, whatever be the source of that income. If it hits the account it is debit. And in the next row, we will be preparing the credit. And finally, there is balance. Balance will be the money that is left over with me. So first of all, we will need to look at the format. This account has started with 5000. The opening balance is necessary. So when we will be preparing these things in a larger way, then we will be needing opening balance, trial balance and balance sheet. Because all these are needed when we are maintaining an accounting software in Excel. Even in a simple balance sheet, an opening balance is required. For example, if I am opening a shop from today, then I'll be starting my shop with some investment in my hand. Or I'll give the opening balance as zero. So for now, we have taken opening balance as 5000. So now we have balance 5000. As because it is debited and there is no credit and we have just started. Now at the beginning, I have purchased one item that is priced at 1500. So what will be the remaining balance? When the 5000 gets adjusted with the 1500, then my leftover is the remaining balance. Now on the same day or in any other day, another debit is made of 3500. Then the older balance will be added to the newer balance now. The reason being previously we already had 3500. And now again we can see an amount of 3500 debited to our account. So now we can see that two 3500s together make a 7000. In the same way, we can see that we have done a closing of 7,000. And even after 5 days, if another 3,000 is debited, then the balance will be 10,000. And then again an expense is made and this will go on and on. So, first of all, we have learned the debit and credit format. These are needed to maintain a small account. Now, if you want to maintain any small kinds of accounts, then we can maintain this small account easily with the help of this format. It can be on a daily basis. So on a daily basis, whatever the closing balance is, will be added to the account. Or we can do monthly sheets. We can do a monthly debit and credit and after adjusting the amount, we can forward the closing balance to the next month. Now we can go back to the formula. We have seen the formatting and how the formatting works. So the formula is very simple. First of all, we will remove all the formula. Means the formula that is already given over here, we will remove this formula. Okay. Over here we will write balance. So after writing balance, the amount which we already had in the debit, we will place it into balance. We have not given any function here. 
the 5000 amount which was mentioned already we have just put it in the debit column and also in the balance column now if we have cash in the minus condition then we will put that in credit side which means that it is a negative amount so it is on the credit side so in that case our balance will be minus 5000 so we'll have to keep that in mind so let's start step by step so after this we will have the second column so let's click on the second column Let's first understand simply that what we are going to do. We already have discussed about these in our previous classes in the MS Excel full course. If you want, you can check the playlist over shikhan.com. You can enter the website and simply get all the things and the playlist there. Previously, I said that we will do things by understanding step by step. Now, this is a matter of functions. The more and more we understand the functions, we can do this in a more creative and a different way. We will do it like the debit and credit formula video but in an alternative way. Whenever this debit credit formula will come, we will get this done in the same way. So what do we want to have here? This closing balance that we have. Along with that, we will consider these two fields. So the debit will be plus and the credit will be minus. We can get this done very simply. Let's give equal. We can give sum or we can do it without the sum. Let's give sum here. After giving sum, we will give a bracket. Now we will be selecting the first field, which means I have selected this field here. So in this field, we consider debit as the plus sign. So we will give over here plus the debit field and the credit will be treated as minus. So then minus the credit field. So now, so what is there in the formula? Let's see. After giving the sum, the balance which we will have. So E4, then we have plus and then debit. So if we have any entry here, so it will be C5. And when we take the credit in the play, then it will be taken as D5. Let's press enter now. So my opening balance was 5000. So now if there is a credit of 1500, the adjustment has been done automatically here. So we know how to paste this formula. Now if we drag this up from this corner, then we can see that the next transaction will be 3500 so our closing will be 7000 in the same way after the debit of 3000 it has become 10000 so when there is a credit of 2500 the balance came up to 7500 now because i have dragged it till here that is why the value that you can see here has appeared automatically so how we will be closing these values we will get this understood in the next video with the use of it in ms excel if there is no value or zero value is there then we can stop this from showing in the sheet itself and we are going to understand this in the next video. So let's delete these. Let's understand debit and credit. So what is our closing balance? 7500. So now if you look at it and drag this field accordingly and now for example if we give on the debit side 3000 we can see that automatically 10500 has arrived. So in this way if you drag this up and in the same day, if I show as credit 500 was spent, then we can see it has again changed. Till now, we saw just one change in a day. But now in the day, debit and credit both changed. No matter what we do in this debit and credit, automatically our balance will be adjusted in a beautiful way here. So by working with this way, if we want, we can easily evaluate the income and expense of the company which are there. And all these things can be done with the help of Excel in a very magical way. We can do formatting very easily here. Now I will go back to one of our members questions which he has done on Facebook. Now if you people also have some questions then we have a separate forum. forum.shikhan.com You can visit the link from the description box below. After coming to this forum you can find many questions and answers here. Now if you have any kind of problems you can see over the folders. You can get into any of the options available. Now, if you enter this forum and upload your problems or questions over there, then our members will be answering those questions. Or you can already find the answers available there. So, if you have any questions, you can simply visit any one of the question folder. And if you are a registered member, you can log in. Or in a very shortcut form, you can join our forum. Don't worry, as there will be no hassles while doing this. In a very simple way, you can log in to the forum and upload your problems which you have in the forum itself. If you do this, then our community will become more stronger and each individual will be helping one another. Let's get back to the question. The question from our member was, well, so the member asked a question there. So I made a file already, which means that we need to delete this part. 
So the question which was asked by one of our clients is that there were several options as receive quantity, total receive quantity, issue date, issue quantity, total issue quantity, balance, etc. If you look into this carefully, you can see the debit and credit as well. Received means debit. And then we have issue, which means it is not coming from the factory or go down. It has an issue. So first of all, we can get this started with one quantity. After that, whatever the client has given the quantity. So over here, the client has for received quantity and the amount which he has given is 9300. That will be one item that has been given, which will be considered as opening balance is 9300. Then the total received has been shown here as 9300. So what we have to do is we have already seen balance. So what do we have in balance? 9300. So what we should call this, it is our opening, like an item. Therefore, it will be our item 1. So my received quantity is this and balance is this. Now, in the next row, we have seen that there is an issue. We will consider this as sales. So the stock should be in minus. So let's give the issue date. I'll give today's date, which is 12th of December 2021. Now, the issue quantity. He has given 9,294. Okay, let's give 9,294 here. Now, this balance here, the balance should appear over here. So, what we have learned just now, we have to give equal. After giving equal, we have to click on the balance field. Then, the field which is to be added here. So, the positive one is the received quantity. So, let's click on it. Sorry, let's give this. Then plus, then this, then minus, then issue quantity. Then press enter. Now we can notice that 6 comes automatically. So the member who has asked this question, even his result here is 6. So my opening was 9300. I issued for 9294. So how much should be the balance? 6 only. Now he has given an entry in the next line. For example, we have to... First, copy this line. We know to close this, we have to use if in the next class. So now, if I give 1028, then press enter, then we can notice that our available balance is 1034. So here, when you have given 1034, actually you have given it here in the total received quantity. The total received should be a total collection, since you have given balance here. What you have said about total received, maybe I couldn't understand that. But for keeping the records, the calculation should be done in this way. So you received this much, for example, whatever we are getting here. So after this, you should issue here. Okay, the next line, let's give a depth here. Example, 13th of December, 2021. Here again, you have shown an issue. 1028 so 1028 enter so we get 6 here and in your documents also it is showing as 6 only so if you tally it in this way then it will be matching 100 percent the formula that i have shown here is very simple let's notice the formula once again very simply we have given the formula by giving this formula this item will really work now if the total received quantity is required by you that how much pieces that you have received, then it will work by giving this field summation only. That I have understood. That total received quantity and total issue quantity is the number of items that you have issued. Is this one. And another is that 9300 Till this date, the total received quantity is this much. So by doing summation, we can take this out as well. So for me, the main was balance. So debit and credit balance in which you will learn main formulas and few more things you have to practice more and get it by yourself. So I hope you got the solution to your problems. If you did not understand the debit credit class here, you can watch it again. If you have any other questions, then please visit our forum forum.shikhan.com and from this page, you can sign in or login and upload any of your questions and you can go to our language section where you can change the language. Most of the forums are in English, but we take the initiative to change the languages so you understand it very well. Thank you for being with Shikhan.com's today's class.